applause for the models today. Thanks a lot, everything was gorgeous. Very nice line. Thank you. Uh, what was your inspiration for that line specifically? Um, that line was kind of like, um, I'm really influenced by, like I mentioned before, like strange, you know, off the wall events, like <laughs> random art showings or, you know, the underground clubs that you, you know, aren't broadcast that you learn about from a friend and you go in and <laughs> it was kind of like, I don't know how to describe it more than like, it was like a group of the cool kids got together and, <laughs> and I wanted to take like a piece of all of those things and design for someone who's very tough and not afraid to go, you know, beyond what you see on the streets and just wear something that they feel good in. So that's Well, that's good. I think you hit it right on the money there. And uh, obviously, like we said before, things have been doing fairly well for you. You've been in some print, a magazine mm -hmm. or a couple magazines you were telling me before the show, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about those. Um, a few months ago, I was featured in uh, 944 magazine, and um, I was also featured in uh, this month, June's issue of Styline magazine, okay. um, and they featured three looks from the collection, so it was, it was great. And uh, you've also been approached by Bravo. There's some kind of event going on just a couple days from now, right? Yes, it's um, called Bravo Bravo, and it's a benefit for the Detroit Opera House. It's an auction, and I'm going to have a, a dress there to be auctioned off. So if anyone's interested in, in getting a dress, I'd recommend going up there and checking it out. It's going to be it's fashion theme this year, so it's, it's going to be pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll hope, hopefully uh, we can help you out getting some people there, and we'll definitely plug that for you on our Facebook page. And they just had a little graphic up there for you as well. Cool. Um, and now also you have a website. Mm -hmm. um, and within that website, you have a blog, right? Where you kind of update on, mm -hmm. you know, some things that are going on with you. And well, I was just kind of wondering if uh, you might be able to give me some fashion advice. We had some controversy on our last show, and uh, I was getting some stuff for it. All show, I finally had to make a comment. Uh, why don't we see a clip from that show, and then maybe hear what you have to say about it? Sure. Let's take a look. <laughs> This is a sharp jacket. I don't know. Obviously, you don't know fashion. I don't know what you're talking about. Apparently not. This is a great right. jacket. We'll take some lessons from you. Yeah, you will take some lessons from me. <laughs> yeah. How bad's the jacket? Tell me. The problem with the jacket is the other things that are with it. I think the shirt and the pants, I think you need the like... The face, the body. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> you need like a bright colored, like pop colored shirt underneath and like a skinny tie and maybe like a derby hat and you just need to accessorize more and I think it'd make the jacket a little bit cooler. Accessorize. I pretty much, this is all I got. I, got a, I have a watch, I have a chain. Yeah, that's all I got, yeah. really. But yeah, I think I appreciate the tips. I really do. <laughs> um, you know, you want to give us your website. You know, where can we purchase some of your clothes? Uh, my website is just kellylynn.com, and I actually just started uh, an Etsy shop, and you can find that on my blog. If you go to kellylynn.com and you click on um, either blog or shop, it'll direct you uh, where to go. All right, and is there any stores or boutiques or anything right now where we can find your clothes? Or? Um, not yet. I'm kind of still working on how I want to handle that, but um, I will be updating my website as this, the clothes become available in stores. So. All right, well, I want to thank you again for coming out. I appreciate right, it. Thanks for having me. I want to thank all of our beautiful models. I want to thank, yes, thank Angela you. and Jen for doing hair and makeup with them tonight. And uh, Spotlight will be right back. Stick around. Thanks <laughs> gives us the word. And coming up later, a musical performance by Crutch to Crown. Don't go anywhere, the spotlight will be right back. Welcome back. We just enjoyed a very good interview with Kelly Lynn Tinsley, and hopefully you got all her information, and we had a gorgeous, a bunch of gorgeous models give us a fashion show, but right now, let's head it over to Becca Friedman for The Word. All right, hi guys, I'm Becca, and here's The Word. There's a pretty incredible story that aired on the Today Show the other day. A 95-year-old woman, Arlene Harvey Morris, was finally able to graduate from high school. Her Alabama high school was forced to close in 1933 because of the Great Depression, just months before she was gonna graduate. 
The high school was eventually reopened, but she had married in that time and students were required to be single then. Arlene's daughter-in-law approached the school about giving Arlene her long-awaited diploma. Arlene's family kept it a secret and surprised her with her graduation, where she received two diplomas, one for her original class of 1933 and one for her adopted class of 2010. Now coming up this, starting this Saturday, May 29th at noon and going until midnight, Monday, May 31st, is the Detroit Electronic Music Festival, or DEMF. It's held in downtown Detroit at Hart Plaza. Starting in 2000, this year marks the festival's 10-year anniversary. The festival celebrates techno music featuring artists from around the world. It attracts nearly 100,000 people, so if you'd like to join one of the biggest parties, head down and check out some of the music at DEMF. For more information on the festival, you can visit movement.us. Speaking of festivals, Memorial Day weekend is the launch for the DIY Street Fair in downtown Ferndale to be held in September. The launch weekend is full of events like concerts, art shows, and fashion shows to help bring the fair back again this September and to keep it going as a free event. Go to DIYStreetFair.com for more info on the events and how to become a vendor or exhibitor in the upcoming fair. Going back to our little date night theme, here's something fun that is a little different than a typical dinner and movie night. Every Friday, the Detroit Institute of the Arts has Friday Night Live. It features things ranging from musical artists to art workshops. To make it even better, it's free with museum admission. To see what's going on upcoming Fridays, go to dia.org. Another fun thing to do is Brew and View at the Magic Bag in Ferndale, but only for you 21-year-olds. Wednesday and Thursday nights, the Magic Bag shows movies with admission at only $2. Doors are at 8 and the movie starts at 9.30. They have a full bar and good movies coming up, so head down there for a few drinks and a good movie. If you want to go the classic route for a date, here are some good date-friendly movies that you should check out. Sex in the City 2, rated R and out now. It's starring the always fashionable four girls from the Big Apple that we all love to watch. There's Killers, starring Katherine Heigl and Ashton Kutcher as a newly married couple that finds out their neighbors might be assassins contracted to kill them. This romantic comedy is rated PG-13, out June 4th. The Prince of Persia, which stars Jake Gyllenhaal as a rogue prince in an ep epic adventure. This adventure flick is rated PG-13 and is out now. And last but not least, if you're looking for an excuse to cozy up, you should see Splice, rated R, for a little scare. The movie stars Adrian Brody and hits theaters June 4th. That's the word for now. Back to you, Nick. Thank you, Becca. We have a wonderful performance just a couple days ago right here in our Spotlight studio. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Clutch to Crown. I'm sorry, Crutch to Crown with their song, I Sympathize. <laughs> 